Hey guys, I am so happy to be back here making another video for you. It's been a minute and I'm so sorry about that. I had a website hack back in April and I've been working every spare minute that I've had since then to try to get everything fixed. And I think it is finally done. So I'll actually post a link to the new website if you want to check that out in the description. It's not anything too crazy or different, but there has been a lot of updates as I was combing through everything. So if you want to check that out, it's in the description of this video. But in this video, we are going to talk about five steps to having a simple special occasion. Now, the reason I say special occasion is because this will work for anything. This will work for birthdays, any holidays that you are celebrating around this time of year, whether it be Christmas or anything else. And it will just help you keep all of your simple goals on track. If you have recently decluttered or simplified your life, you probably don't want to have to go back to needing to declutter again right after the holidays. So if you follow these steps, you will not have to do that. You will be able to maintain your newfound minimalism even through the craziest times of the year. This video and probably the next three videos because it's kind of a long post are all based off of the post that I wrote a few years ago on the best intentional gift ideas for children. And now that I have reread and re-edited every single post that I've ever done, I can safely say that this is one of my favorites because it's just so fun to talk about how to experience the holidays with the new minimalist mindset that you have and what awesome things you can still give your kids and how to make sure that they aren't feeling deprived with the new minimalist lifestyle that you have. But in the next video and in the post that is linked in the description, I will be talking about my favorite minimalist gift ideas for kids and how you can still really enjoy this time of year and not have to declutter after it. All right, let's get into the video. The first step to a simple special occasion is to remember why you want things to be simple now especially if you are new to minimalism or simplifying your life or you just want your life to be a little easier, sometimes it can be easy to forget about why you want this to happen around the holidays. It's so easy to see the commercials on TV or hear about what everyone else is getting their kids and think that you need to also get your kids the same amount of things. But if you remember why you want to simplify your life and why you want things to be easier for yourself, it's much easier to stick with your goals. One of the biggest reasons that I want to live a more simple minimalist life is I want my kids to be grateful. It's really hard for kids to be grateful when they have more toys than they could ever play with on a weekly basis. And it's also really hard for them to be grateful when they know they will get another boatload of gifts for any birthday or Christmas or any other holidays in between. My girls and I have read through the Little House on the Prairie series and it always strikes me every time I read those books how excited the kids are to get just a couple simple little gifts. And sometimes they aren't even really what I would consider gifts. It's a piece of candy and an orange, but they absolutely love it and they feel so thankful to just have those simple things. Now, I'm not saying you have to go to that extreme to have grateful children, but it is oddly easier for children to be grateful when they have and when they receive less than when they have too much and then they receive too much more. The second step to having a simple holiday is to make a budget and stick to it. I actually have a full video for how to budget for Christmas, and I will link that in the description down below if you want to check that out. But the big thing to remember with making your budget is you want to do this before you start shopping. Once you start shopping, it's way too easy to spend way more than you should. So definitely get that budget figured out before you start browsing. The third thing that you'll want to do is decide who all you will be buying for. Sit down and make a list of everyone that you want to purchase a gift for this Christmas. And I actually recommend deciding who all you want to purchase birthday gifts for throughout the year as well. If you decide on these things ahead of time, it will keep you from spending too much money as the holidays roll around. Now, one thing that trips up a lot of people with this step is they think, well, we've always purchased for both of our parents and our siblings and nieces and nephews, and we have to just keep doing that. And the truth is that 
you actually don't. You can decide for your budget what will work for you and you can have some conversations with your family and either let them know that you won't be able to participate in the gift giving the same way that you always have or see if they would be willing to do some other options. I remember growing up, most of the time, all of the aunts and uncles bought for all of the nieces and nephews, and that's really expensive when you have a lot of people in your family. But one year, my mom and dad said, hey, what if we drew names? And we drew names for the nieces and nephews, and depending on how many kids we had in our family, you know, so each child would draw a name for another child, but of course the parents were paying for it. And it actually worked out really well because we got much nicer things. We didn't get as many, but we got a much nicer thing that way from one of the other aunts and uncles. Another year, we actually did a white elephant gift exchange for all of the nieces and nephews. And I think I was 14 or 15 at that time, so I was old enough to understand the difference between previous years and that year but I thought it was an absolute blast and everyone came home with one thing. We didn't do traditional white elephant where it's gag gifts. These were all decent gifts, but we came home with one nicer thing and I don't think that anyone felt gypped from that. So you can talk with your family, talk with your siblings or your parents and just see if they might be up for doing something different. If you think you might like to do something a little bit more simple for this year. Even if you can technically afford to buy for everyone, it's much nicer if you don't have to declutter your house again because of all of the gifts that your children receive for each holiday. The fourth step to a simple special occasion is to think of quality over quantity. So don't think about how many gifts you want to get your children. Think of that dollar amount that you decided on for the budget and think of something nice, maybe one or two things that you could get them that would fit into the budget. I know for myself, even as a child, I much preferred to get something that was a little nicer and get less things than I did to get a whole bunch of things that would end up breaking quickly or being less quality and you just couldn't keep them as long term. I know this one can be difficult because we love to have trees with so many presents underneath them. It looks really fun. We think of Christmas mornings with everyone just excitedly opening all of the presents. But if you think of something instead that your child will play with day after day or even enjoy month after month or year after year, you will get much more joy seeing them actually love something than you will from one morning of madness of them just opening all of the presents that they can. And honestly, they will get more joy that way as well. Even if they have a little bit less excited of an initial reaction, they will enjoy the toy or whatever it is much more over time if it's something that they can continue to use and will bring value to their life. Be sure to catch the next video that I put out because I'm going to cover all kinds of intentional gift ideas for your kids and that one's going to be super fun. So be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. The fifth thing to do is to make an Amazon wish list for each person in your family. I have found that this is the easiest way to kind of help communicate things that you are hoping for your children to get, especially if grandparents or aunts and uncles have very different ideas about the types of gifts that children should be getting. When they ask what they can get our kids or what our kids would like, I just send them a link to the list and they can easily see the things that we would love for our children to have and things that our kids would be excited to get. The girls are very involved in helping me create their wish lists at this point because they are getting older. And even for me, if I really think one of them would like something, I'll typically show it to them ahead of time, not right before Christmas or anything like that, but a couple months in advance to see if they would indeed like it. One of my daughters in particular has very strong feelings about which color she likes and which she does not like and it changes periodically. So I like to try to just ask her and say, is this something that you would like? And I don't necessarily tell her you are receiving this or you are not, but I'll tell her I'll put it on your wish list if it is something you would like. Sometimes they will ask me for a bonus when they have completed their checklists if they can shop on Amazon. And what they do is they will search for something that they would like and they will put things on their wish list that they would like to have. 
Now, sometimes this ends up being way too many options in one particular venue. So maybe they wanted a water bottle and then they end up with 20 on there. So before the holidays or before birthdays, I will help them kind of narrow it down to the one they would like the most. We will also add to their wish lists through the year if they mention things that they would really like to have or if they have any needs. Now, I do try to make sure that a want is here to stay before I put it on the wish list because sometimes, you know, they just play with something at a friend's house and they decide that they want it. So typically I will wait to hear the request multiple times before I will put it on their wish list. Now, you may be thinking that this doesn't really let the children be surprised about what they're getting for birthdays or Christmases, and that's true. Generally, when they get something, they aren't shocked by it, although they don't know which things will be selected from their list. But that doesn't really bother me. I think I used to have more of this romantic idea of Christmas that gifts needed to be a super huge surprise that you would have never expected and that's part of the wonder of it all but at this point even for my husband and i we typically will ask each other what we want and if we want anything which sometimes we don't we're kind of at the point where we have what we need and we just we don't have a lot of wants we aren't big gifts people um but when we have something we want we will get that thing for the other person and it's not usually a huge surprise but you're still thankful for what you get so if you really need for it to be a surprise, I guess the kids maybe couldn't be quite as involved, but I find this really helpful because then I know that they will enjoy what I get them. I don't have to waste money on things that they may or may not use. It also helps us save money because often their wish lists are things that we are going to get them at some point. Many of them are needs that they do have for their sports or their instruments or things like that. But then when grandparents or aunts and uncles ask what they want, we can easily send it to them and then it saves us some money in the long run as well. All right, that's all for this video. In the next video, we are going to get into the awesome intentional gift ideas that you can get your kids. So be sure to stick around for that. Hit that subscribe button and like this video if you found it helpful and you think others would as well. Mm -hmm.